pulling up to Napoleon B Supply. Neat little store, getting ready to pick up my bees. Napoleon B Supply, this is where I just picked them up, and that's the nook they gave me, so let's go home. Alright, picked up the bees in Napoleon, I got them set out here, um, I'll do a little write-up thing on Napoleon B Supply, but now I'm going to transfer them into my hive. Um, first I'm going to get an extra box because he said these might be a little bit deeper so just in case I'm gonna have the super ready if I have to transfer to a little deeper so I've also moved the bees to the garden um, I thought that was a better idea since there's a lot more light out here I'm going to go through how to transport transfer them um, and I'll just say again I can't say enough about Napoleon Bee Supply those people are very nice very responsive they helped me in a lot of ways let's just make sure we're still recording here yep so you can see I've opened up some spots here to uh, give them room to expand uh, the nuck that I got is a five frame nuck so I have one that's brand new they can expand over there and two that are brand new they can expand over this way but the five I want in the center of that so that they feel nice and secure and uh, then they'll they'll feel like they can expand the uh, I'm gonna put them back in the order that I take them out of the nook. And uh, let's just get, I got some pine needles from my yard. I wanted to keep it natural for the smoke. So I'm gonna get some of the smoke going. Kind of calm them down a little bit. I've already put the uh, pine needles in there. Close that. Hopefully calm them down a hair. And I'll open it up. Get to see my bees for the first time. All right, guys. I'm going to be very careful. I'll take this first one out. It's got just a little bit of that stuff keeping it sticky. I believe they call it propolis. Yep, and they are going to drop nicely into my Hoover Hive. Wonderful. I believe that's a drone there. Be careful not to smush any of these wonderful guys. A little bit more smoke. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah, that one's really sticky. Don't want to squish any of them. I've been waiting a long time to get you guys. There you go. Now, what I've heard too, once I get this on here, just need to give them a quick wrap, calm them down a little bit. and then get them by the front. Now I'm actually gonna opt just to kind of let them do their own thing here. But I, don't, I wanna make sure I don't squish any of them. I'll keep them by the front here. And then I'm gonna put a queen excluder on so that she does not go up just kind of make sure that she's not in there all right now I'll put the top on And then I'll check on them later. And I do not need the super. Here you go. Well, I got a couple on me. I'll just have to let them get used to that. And I'll put my super box back. Let them get acquainted with their new home. So that is basically transferring the hive. I'm going to keep looking for that queen as they get settled because I don't want to lose her. If I lose her, I guarantee they'll swarm somewhere else. I've seen and read that several different places. So I need to be careful of that. But as you can see, I think in the middle of the garden is going to be the best for them. Nice home, you can see some of my stuff's already flowering out. The stuff over there is getting ready to flower out. We have a bunch of flowers at the front of the house. So, this is what we're gonna be doing with the bees.